clicking along in this little playlist that we have going on here. Adhesion molecules are upregulated on the vascular endothelium at the site of infection. So that's what I really wanted to the vascular endothelium. They're not part of uh, necessarily immune cells, but more like inside of the blood vessels. And there's lots of them. There's the selectins, there's vascular addressins, and I'm just go ahead and you'll understand why I'm categorizing these two together like this. So these are going to work together, and then the integrins and then the immunoglobulin-like molecules. These guys are going to work together. And this is a picture here showing the four types of adhesion molecules here. Here we see the selectin, which lectin, right? It's a form of le the lectin family here. Binding with the vascular addressin, this is context, is called CD34. Here we see the integrin as LFA1, which we'll talk about that later. And then the immunoglobulin-like molecule, which somehow regulates to ICAM. I'm assuming that means immunoglobulin-like cell adhesion molecule, but the the uh, usage of this uh, acronym is not really helpful in this context. Oh no, not there. Okay, so again, like we had talked about here, the selectins are going to bind and work with the vascular addressins. So selectins are lectins, which are going to bind to the vascular addressins. The vascular addressins are going to bind to the selectins. And um, this word carbohydrate moiety, um, this just means that the carbohydrate region is the part that's really involved in a lot of the binding here. So the selections are going to function in leukocyte homing. Um, we're keeping it broad and saying leukocytes here, but uh, that means any type of a white blood cell, so it's a lot of issues there. Uh, it's secondary lymphatics, and then uh, obviously in site, the primary would be in site of infections. So the, again, the vascular addressins also are going to initiate interactions between leukocytes and the endothelium. So here's a picture just showing you the two different between the differences between the two between the selectins and in this context the mucin-like vascular addressins. But I'm fine with just keeping it broad, and saying vascular addressins. Um, so the selectins are going to bind to carbohydrates because they're lectins, uh, which are going to initiate the leukocyte endothelial interactions. What is the carbohydrate that they're going to bind with? The carbohydrates on the vascular addressins, which is kind of, I think, exemplified here with these purple little pentagon, not pentagon, yeah, I think that's a pentagon, I can't see very well, <laughs> the polygon-like shapes here that are branching off of this thing here. And so uh, the only thing that I really wanted to talk about that's really important from this picture here is the ligands for each of these. So for the vascular addressins, the ligand is the L-lectin, but for this, it's the actual glycoproteins. What this is just fancy ways of saying that these are glycoproteins that are on the neutrophils, uh, which are a big part of here that's in, involved in binding there. Um, so let's look at some more pictures here. Uh, integrins as well. Um, this includes the LFA1, but I feel like we should also include, I'm just going to add this to it, complement receptors 3 and 4. Those are also, when we talked about those, those are integrins. They're fem the members of the lectin family, but anyways. And these tend to mediate cell-to-cell -cell adhesion, um, which is adhesion between cells and extracellular matrix. Remember how densely populated and how much of a uh, just complicated place that is. Um, this is involved in both the immune response, but also the inflammatory response. And then these are going to bind to uh, the ICAMs, or ICAMs are going to bind to them. It depends on how you look at it, I guess, uh, which I assume means immunoglobulin cell adhesion molecules, which are both involved in lymphocyte migration. For cell adhesion molecules, let's just do a brief review. I'm going to list them as kind of in, the, in their pairs of, of each molecule. So there's the selectins, and then right next to the selectins are the vascular addressins. That's the first pair. The second pair that we have is the integrins, and these guys are going to be paired with the uh, I'll just go ahead and say Ig-like, and then we'll, I'll break down further <laughs> more in, in, into what I mean by there. Okay, so for selectins, as you can tell, the name implies the selectins. They're lectins. What do lectins do? Well, lectins bind to sugars. Um, in this context, though, what we want to stress and what I want to talk about here is they play a huge role in leukocyte homing. All of these really play a, a role in leukocyte homing, but I feel like the selectins are kind of the, the first part that we're going to talk about for this. And so what they're going to do is they obviously are going to bind to the vascular addressins, <clears throat> and then the vascular addressins are going to, I can do this in purple, 
bind with the selectins here. So what part of the vascular addressins do they selectins bind to? Well, just like it says the name, if it's a lectin, it's going to bind to the CHO. And this context means carbohydrate, not a formal ranaldehyde group. Okay, so the vascular addressins um, are really going to facilitate the interactions between the leukocyte and the endothelium. Okay, they're going to also bind to the selectins through the use of their carbohydrate domain. So I'll just go ahead and just go ahead and talk about this. So this is the they have a carbohydrate region for binding. It's getting kind of messy, so I hope you can still see that I'm talking about the vascular addressins here in magenta. All right, so next would be the integrins. And integrins, just like all the others, they're cell adhesion molecules, yeah, but they really play huge roles in uh, signaling. When we talk about neutrophil and other leukocyte homings, we'll understand what these are a little bit better. This is just kind of a generalized overview. Um, the two examples of integrins that I think are important would be complement receptor 3 and 4, and then a other category known as LFA1. Now, all Ig-like molecules are going to bind to, let me just go ahead and draw this here, LFA1, and by the same notion, that's the connection that we have to make between those two. So for the Ig-like molecules, let's see if I can fit these two here. There's ICAM1 and ICAM2. And these guys, um, they obviously play this role, whole role in binding here with the integrins, but their uh, expression is induced. So we have an induced expression by tissue necrosis factor alpha. And you'll understand what each and every one of these does a lot better when we talk about leukocyte and neutrophil homing.